Welcome! In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to use your iPad as a MIDI controller on Mac OS X with no lag, or very little lag, using uh, just a regular USB charging cable. In a previous video, we showed you how you can connect an iPad via the network, and that way just had a whole lot of lag in it, so this way, using the connector, um, just makes a lot more sense. Uh, using a cable. Uh, what did I just say? You said a connector. Oh yeah, sorry. Using a cable connector. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull that boy in there. All right, and once you got the iPad connected, oh man, stupid iTunes. iTunes always comes up. I don't know why. I gotta figure that out. First thing you're gonna want to do is open your audio MIDI setup. If you can't find it, just go to the launch pad and search MIDI. And if you don't see the iPad there yet, you're going to need to go to Window, and then Show iOS Device Browser. Then from here... Here, you can enable it. On the newer versions of Mac OS X, this will automatically pop up. But on some of the older versions, you actually have to go to Window and show it. So now I can enable the iPad, and it'll actually show up here as a audio device. And as long as this is showing up, you know you're good to go. And then from there, I'm going to show you how to set it up in Pro Tools. I hope it doesn't do the same thing where it, like, switched the audio device. Because uh -huh. that's why you were having problems with it when you went back. We'll see, though. Once you're inside Pro Tools, you're going to want to go to Setup, and then check your peripherals. Then go to MIDI Controllers. And make sure the type is set to M Audio Keyboard, and then you're gonna send it from, or send it to, sorry, the iPad and receive from the iPad. And then once that's set up, I'll call him back later. So on your iPad, whatever device you wanna use or app as a MIDI controller, you just wanna go to that. I'm using SP Pro right now, it's pretty cool. Happy KO is not sponsored by SP Pro. Do, 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 do. And from there, just record enable, whatever sound you're trying to do. So then your settings on whatever <coughs> app you're using to send MIDI data, you just want to make sure you go to, you have preferences, sources and destinations, and just make sure that this IDAM MIDI host is selected. And as long as that's on there, and you're you're all set up within your peripherals, you should be good to go. And yeah, see, it did it again. It's setting the playback engine as iPad by default when that happened. All right, so sometimes with Pro Tools, when you go into the MIDI setup and you make the iPad active, it'll change the playback engine to whatever you were using before to the iPad, and you're not going to be able to listen to the audio through the iPad. So you just want to send that playback engine back to whatever you were using before. We're using the audio box and it's gonna have to restart Pro Tools. Let me make sure that works. Perfect. He's on. All right, if I record enable, Why is this track still not working? What the fuck? Because that was the one you had, uh, you deleted the new one, and you went back to the one you made inactive. Yeah, but I figured this one would still work again. So guess what? Ran into another issue, like... How'd you solve it, Drew? Um, so what happened is, is that when I opened Pro Tools, it had the iPad set as the playback device. So then once I reloaded it with the correct playback device, um, I just had to duplicate this track. And How did you worked. reload it with the correct playback device? Uh, I just went to playback, playback engine, engine and then chose. I thought we already did this. that and it still wasn't working. Well, that's, that's what I said. So I was explaining like why that didn't work. 
So what you're saying is that when it opens that track up, it has to reset again. So all I did was duplicate this track, and then that worked. But that I, that doesn't need to be in the video, though. I feel like that's confusing. I'm confused. like I should have just had no track to begin with. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the only reason that it it did that it was because it had loaded Pro Tools up with the wrong playback engine. So it made this all inactive, and I couldn't do anything with that track. Then as soon as I duplicated it, that track was blue. It like woke it up, and it knew to go to the correct playback engine. Happy Ko apologizes for any confusion endured during this video. So let's test the lag real quick, real quick, Drew. No lag. So even when you unplug the iPad and then start a new session up again, you will probably have to change the playback engine back to the audio box, even though the iPod's not even plugged in, which is stupid. But I think that's just a Pro Tools thing. I don't think it's every DAW that does that. Hey, Lawrence here from Happy KO. The solution to that problem we were having with Pro Tools changing like the playback engine stuff, all you have to do to avoid it is have Pro Tools open when you plug in your iPad. That'll solve your problem. So we figured that out after, and I'm coming in here to, to tell you that. We figured it out. So just have Pro Tools open, then plug your iPad in and do all that other shit. Have a happy KO. Please like and subscribe.